you you talk in the book about going on to study in postgraduate study what are the correct motivations for wanting to do this as opposed to just i can't get a job so i'll do something <laughs> well yeah um it's great you talk about the correct motivations i think most people put the cart before the horse with this like you say they think they just assume doing postgraduate study will get them a better career and so they go into it and what you'll find is that postgraduate study can indeed enhance your career but only if it's appropriate to that career so if i take you back to the question well what are the the correct sort of ways the first one is clearly i enjoy the subject i think that's the most wonderful reason to do postgraduate study forgetting your career i just love telecommunications i'm going to do a masters in it. i just love it what a great sentiment i mean if you've got that sort of money because they're expensive but you know what what a great motivation another great motivation is that you have worked out that you want to be a telecommunications engineer and you've spoken to people and you've done your research and worked out that absolutely crucial in that route to becoming a telecommunications engineer is a master's and that the masters at birmingham university for example is the is the one to take mm. then that's a great motivation to do that masters because you know from day one where you're going with that masters and probably half of what you gain by doing a masters is the contacts you make so from day one you can meet the right people and get involved and and rather than just pick a masters out of the hat and think that that will lead me on so you're doing it think assuming it will help you for example in in publishing you might think that you do a master's in pub in creative writing which will get you into a, a job in a publisher's well it might do but the chances are it won't so 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 you'll get to the end you'll spend all that money and realize damn it didn't help me anyway i could have, there's m many other things i could have done that would be more effective or there was some other course i could have done that would be even more effective so yeah put the horse before the cart in other words figure out your route figure out where the ideas where you want to go into a career and then figure out your route and if postgraduate study fits into that route all well and good but don't do it thinking about the postgraduate study and where that goes because that that's often a, a, a bit of a cold to say no i agree and as we talked about at the beginning of the episode with planning out what your path is and what steps you need to to go along if you can think about that by doing postgraduate study, it's going to tick off uh, the need for X, Y, and Z, whether it's experience or contacts or that higher degree of knowledge that you need to get the job of your choice, then it's a it's a great way to do it. I mean, in my experience, having interviewed people and seen two candidates, one who's maybe got a year's of ex work experience that's relevant, and one person who's got a year of postgraduate study, uh, most of the time tend to go towards the, the experience and the, the practical skills that have been developed there, whether it's at home or whether it's traveling abroad. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it's, very, it's, very, it's a very easy road to fall down because academics in universities tend to, to have an a, a erroneous view of how important academia is because they're in it. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, you, they can, and you can get this feeling having gone up from university straight from nursery all the way through that more and more education is inevitably better well it may be but it isn't at some point an employer wants you to be able to do the job not necessarily know what the latest theory is to do with whatever 